patterns. Um, every once in a while though, I kind of get caught up in um, the uncertainty and I try to remind myself and try to remind um, our, my family that for most of us, this is like, you know, an inconvenience for sure. Um, and for some people, you know, it's a bigger problem. Um, and, and for the healthcare professionals and the nurses and the doctors and the first responders, you know, who are there um, every day working tirelessly, um, we're so appreciative. And I know this is so hard on you. So thank you for showing up. Um, and for those that are sick or people who have um, uh, family members and friends that are sick, we're, uh, my heart goes out to you with so much um, compassion and healing energy. Um, but the majority of us are just slightly being inconvenienced right now. And so I try to keep that in mind and know that we are doing our civic duty um, to be there to support our community. And to, um, you know, I know it sounds cliche as a yoga teacher to say this, but as much as you can to bring it back to the moment. You know, when I'm talking to friends and they start talking about, oh, the kids aren't going back to school till December, or, um, you know, we're not gonna get into group settings. And for many months, I start to get really anxious and nervous. And I have to like pause and remind myself, just be in the moment and focus on, you know, five things that you can see in front of you, focus on your breath, name five things that you feel grateful for. So I hope that you can, you know, use some of these tools um, that we've all learned from the yoga practice of breathing and being in the moment and slowing down to help you get through some of those um, uncertain times when we get triggered. Um, so let's just have the next 50-ish minutes or so to move and breathe and get centered. So when we do get triggered and that uncertainty starts to take over, we have the opportunity to slow down. We've practiced what it means to find the breath, to slow down, to be in the moment. Okay, so Jen, let's come out. Thanks for being here. And let's start seated, please, cross-legged or any comfortable seat that feels good. And then you can let your arms, or your palms rather, just rest at your knees or palms can face up, um, whatever feels grounding to you. So try to get nice and rooted through the sit bones and feel the spine get nice and long. Feel the tips of your ears lift up. Okay, take the breath in and open your mouth. Two more like that, breathe in. Big open mouth. And one more, breathe in. Super good. So your lips, breathe in through your nose. Keep your lips sealed and breathe out through your nose. Okay, so find a rhythm, a pattern that starts to slow you down. And then make the commitment here to, you know, go with the flow a bit. And I know you're gonna get distractions, the dog's gonna bark, the kids are gonna jump on you, on the phone's gonna ring or what have you, but you wanna just let it go, you know, if you need to respond, respond and then come back. But if you can let it go for just, you know, an hour, try to do that. Okay, start to feel the energy of this community, although we're not physically together, still, you know, this cosmic connection. So lean into that and settle into just being in the moment. Breathe in through the nose and breathe out through the nose. Okay, take your time, settle in here. One more slow, controlled breath in. Go ahead and start the music. And slow breath out. Now you're welcome to keep your eyes closed or eyes open. And inhale, reach your arms high, up and overhead. And the exhale is a side bend. Right arm down, left arm up and over. Okay, keep your left sit bone rooted down. Right rib cage pulls forward, left rib cage pulls back, chin away from your chest. Stay with it, breathe in and breathe out come back to center inhale reach your arms up and exhale side bend left arm down right arm up and over okay again looks awesome Jen. keep the sit bones rooted and then reach as much as you can to your fullest capability and then use the breath to go deeper one more breath in and breath out awesome come back to center both arms go up and exhale is eagle arms so float your right arm underneath your left 
For this variation, bring your forearms away from your face and align your elbows, or sorry, your shoulders and your elbows, but pull the shoulders down away from your ears. Keep the rib cage pulling up and in. Now we go back bend. And move your gaze up and back. Brush your fingertips on the ceiling. And your belly button. Chin towards your chest. Try to puff up the upper back. Stay with it. Breathe in. Awesome. And breathe out. Good. Now breath to movement. Lift your elbows up. Chin away from your chest. Breathe in. And exhale and round through your back. Elbows towards your belly button. A couple more times like that. So lift the elbows up on the inhale. And then exhale and round like a scared cat pose. One more time. Lift it. Inhale. And exhale and round. Pull your belly button up and in. Good. Slowly unwind. Inhale. Reach your arms up. And exhale. Eagle pose on the left. Or eagle arms on the left. So left arm now comes underneath the right. You can windshield wiper your arms side to side if you like. The focus is to get into the upper back here. So before you go back bend, just pull the elbows away from your face. Pull your navel in towards your spine. Get rooted through your sit bones. And now add the back bend. So lift your elbows up. Move your gaze up and back. Try to get the center of your chest up towards your thumbs. Breathe in and exhale and round. So now uh, try to don't hollow out through the belly. Puff up the upper back. Go ahead and move through the sequence on your own. Lift the elbows up on the inhale and then round on your exhale. Couple more times. Breathe in and breathe out. Be sure to let us know if the music's okay. My last one, lift up, inhale. And exhale and round elbows towards your belly button. Pull your navel in towards your spine. Good. Unwind your arms. Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, release your arms down. Perfect. Have a seat. Place your feet down. Extend your arms out and use the core strength. Lower all the way down to your back. Good. Once your shoulders hit the mat, your arms can relax by your sides. Now pull your knees in towards your chest. So a little rock side to side, side to side. Beautiful. And then go happy baby pose. So let your knees splay out nice and wide. Just like Jen did, you can lift your hips up for a moment to grab your feet, but once you've got your feet, anchor your tailbone down. Okay, so if you can't grab your feet, it's no big deal. Grab your ankles, your calves, even the backs of your thighs. Okay, so anchor the tailbone down, so the entire spine, the back of your head is down. Little rock side to side if that feels good, but focus more on getting into the groin, the inner thigh, and the hips. Okay, one breath in. And wrap that. Okay, we'll move this right into crunches. So my girl, Beth O'Reilly from Core Power Yoga, I took her class Saturday on YouTube. Check it out. She's amazing. One of my mentors, my favorite people. She did this core work and she used to do it years ago, so I had to pull it back. Okay, so it's called, uh, she called it single leg happy baby twist, something like that. So leave your right leg where it is. Relax your left leg down. In fact, actually hover your left heel. Flex your left toes. Okay, bring your left hand behind your head. So your left leg is hovering. Right leg stays right where it is. Breathe in. Exhale, tap your left elbow to your right knee. Hover head, neck, and shoulders. Open up, inhale. Exhale, ha, and twist. So open on the inhale. Close, ha, on the exhale. So Jen, like Jen's doing, left heel can hover one, two inches off the mat. Be sure your lower back is pressing down and the rib cage pulling in. If you're feeling this too much in the lower back, you can bend your left knee, place the foot down, or just relax your left leg all the way down. Okay, so here it is, hover and hold. So nice and ha, close on the exhale. And keep using your right arm to pull the right knee closer towards the mat. We're here for ha, looks amazing, Jen. For three, ha, for two, Ha, and one, ha. Pull your knees in towards your chest, little rock side to side. Then back to happy baby pose. And reach for the outer edges of your feet. Again, keep your tailbone anchored down all the way through the back of your head. Use your hands to pull your knees closer towards the mat. Okay, breathe in. And breathe out. Super good. Now leave your left leg right where it is. That's single leg happy baby. Extend your right leg out. Let the right heel hover two inches off the mat. Okay, bring your right hand behind your head. Okay, breathe in. Open your mouth. Exhale. Lift the head, neck, and shoulders. Tap your right elbow towards your left leg. 
extend, uh, lower down on the inhale, lift on your exhale. So if you want more exertion, keep your head, neck, and shoulders lifted the entire time. Uh, if you need a little less, drop the head, neck, and shoulders down. Same thing, if your heel, heel's hovering, a little bit more exertion, you can place your right foot flat on the mat or let your right heel touch the mat for a little less sensation. Okay, but this is a practice of being in the moment. So maybe normally you power through all the core work, but today in this moment you need a little support. So honor that. Okay, four more. Ha, ha. Super good. Use the strength of your left arm to pull your left knee closer towards the mat. Two more. Ha. Awesome. And one more. Ha. Good. Now pull your knees towards your chest. Awesome. Knees come over the hips, hands behind your head. Breathe it. Open your mouth, exhale, lift head, neck, and shoulders up. Keep the head, neck, and shoulders up. Extend the legs out, and then bend your knees and tap. Ha. We're here just for eight. Ha. For seven. Good. Head, neck, and shoulders stay lifted. Lower back down. Ha. For four. This is the last bit of energy here for three, and then we slow it down for a bit. Two. And one little pulses. Reach your arms forward, knees are bent. Flex your toes. The music slow down a little bit, but keep the power through the breath. So use the breath um, as the soundtrack to keep you motivated. Here, ha, little pulses, four, for a perfect form, Jen. Open mouth exhales, ha, two, and one, bridge pose. Place your feet down, lift your hips off the mat, okay? You can karate chop your fingertips down so the pinky edge of the palm is pressing down, or interlace your palms with the small of your back and cuddle your shoulders a little closer towards one another. Okay, so feet can be six to eight inches apart, but the heels should be right behind the toes. We have a tendency to turn the heels in and toes out, so toes face forward. Stay with it, you guys. Breathe in, and breathe out. Awesome, release your arms, lower your hips, pull your knees towards your chest, start to rock front and back, front and back, and then make your way into high plank pose, top of a push-up. I plank pose. And take some time, settle in. Oh, align your pinky fingers with the outer shoulder and then push heavily through the palms like you're trying to push through the earth so your back body lifts, the opposite of that. Yeah, so try to touch my hand with your back. Perfect, so it's protraction, so the upper back widens, the shoulder blades separate. Okay, pull your navel in and then try to puff up the backs of the knees. Draw your shins towards one another so they're not touching, but like you're squeezing a block. And then settle into the breath. Okay, one more inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale, looks good. Bend your knees, shake out your head, let that feel good for a moment. Good, and then again, palms about shoulder width distance apart, so the pinky finger is in line with the outer shoulder. Okay, just like you do in arm balance, Push heavily through um, the base of your palm here, the heel of the palm, um, the knuckle, and the fingerprint. So there's this almost hugging in. And then the eyes and the elbows face one another, but the shoulders pull away from the ears. You feel lift and lengthen the spine, and now tighten your legs. So the quadriceps tighten um, or activate so the hamstrings open. Breathe in and breathe out. Good. Gaze forward, ragdoll pose. Walk your feet behind your wrists, and then let's go right into chest expansion. So bend your knees, interlace your palms at the small of your back. Take a halfway lift, inhale. Knuckles draw towards the back of the room, crown of the head forward, and exhale, forward fold. Belly to thighs, arms come up and overhead. Looks awesome. So keep the feet six inches apart, keep the knees six inches apart. Lift your shoulders up and away from your ears. Okay, and then go one more time with that Adam. So halfway lift, inhale. Go belly to thighs, exhale, arms up and over. Now we add a twist. Bend your left knee, straighten your right leg, and then tip your knuckles towards the left of your, um, of your rib. Like your palms are touching the outer left hip so that your shoulders stack. Okay, so just like Jen's doing the right shoulder on top of the left shoulder, right leg is straight, Activate the right quadricep. Okay, draw your knuckles towards the left of your right. Okay, breathe in. And then forward fold and breathe out and switch it out. Now, very big bend in your right knee. Start to stack your left shoulder on top of your right. 
and tug your knuckles towards the back of the right. Okay, so weight is in your left heel, activate your left quadricep, stack your shoulders so you get a twist with the chest expansion. Breathe in, and forward fold and breathe out. Release your palms, toe heel your feet together. Big open mouth exhale, ha. And then slowly inhale, rise up to a standing position. Little shoulder shrug at the top, inhale. Exhale, shoulders fall back and down. Relax your arms by your sides or standing in a tension, Samasutiki. Okay, take a moment to pull the energy in. Slow and steady breathing, okay? An opportunity here to connect, okay? Again, uh, to the present moment, to connect with whatever motivation you have, to feel inspired by being, you know, not physically together, um, but energetically together, okay? Together we breathe, inhale, open your mouth. Seal your lips, breathe in. Seal your lips and breathe out, okay? You're welcome to keep your eyes closed or eyes open. Release your palms, inhale, mountain pose, Tadasana. Might as well turn it Okay, get rooted through your feet. I pull I strength up through the inner thighs. Keep your tailbone anchored down in the rib cage pulling in. Really nice. Now breathe in, reach up. Exhale, back bend. Bend your elbows, turn the elbows up. Inhale, arms up, belly in, tailbone down. Forward fold and exhale. Good. Take a halfway lift, inhale. Now step your left foot back, it's low lunge. Left foot steps back. Pull your chest forward and your shoulders back to open the upper back. Breathe in. Keep your feet the same and exhale, pyramid pose. Straighten your two legs. Okay, so two legs are straight, back heels lifted. Power through the back leg. Let your left hip pull forward and your right hip pull back. Take some length in, breathe in. Chest towards your thigh and breathe out. Awesome, one more time, breathe in. Sink deeper and breathe out. Good, look up and lengthen, inhale. Low lunge, exhale, palms down, three-legged dog. Right heel goes up and back. Bend and open, get some space across the hip, knee and ankle. Try to square your shoulders to the top of the mat. Push heavily through the L of your palm. Move the hip, knee and ankle around. Okay, one breath in. Exhale, left knee to your upper left arm. Left knee, upper left arm, super good. Again, push your palms down, eyes and the elbows face one another and round through your back. Hold and breathe, three, hold and breathe. Now listen for your transition on two and one, fall in triangle. Extend your right leg out, spin your back foot flat and lift your left arm up. Okay, stay with it. Push heavily through the pinky edges of both feet. Try to draw your chest up. Okay, here's an add-on. So if you're just listening and not watching, stay tuned. Okay, Jen doesn't know this one either. Okay, here we go. So keep your legs just as they are. Breathe in. Place your left palm down and breathe out. Lift your back heel up. So your right leg stays extended across your mat. Shift forward, breathe in. Bend your elbows, lower halfway down. Press up. Lower halfway down. And press up. Two more. Lower halfway down, chaturanga push-up. And press up. And one more. Lower halfway down. And press up. Right leg high. Inhale. And exhale, high plank pose, ekapada, so float your right toes. So the right toes are hovering, and then you can go ahead, lower down, upward facing dog, inhale, pause for a moment, let that feel good. Thighs and knees are lifted here, breathe in. Low plank pose, bottom of a push up, roll the shoulder and heads back. Now push up, high plank pose, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out, slow breath in. Slow and controlled breath out. We go other side. Bend your knees, breathe in. Exhale, step, jump, or walk to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Inhale, weight is in the front part of your feet. And then go deep on the forward fold. Grab your ankles, get your elbows behind your calves, touch your forehead towards your shins. Beautiful. All the way up. Inhale, rise up. Mountain pose, Tadasana. Exhale to back bend. Tighten your legs. Turn the elbows up. Chest moves up and back. Or gaze moves up and back. Inhale, arms up, belly in, forward fold and exhale. Halfway lift, so start to slow it down now, inhale. Step your right foot back, exhale as a low lunge. Okay, try to widen your stance, so step your right foot back a little bit. 
You'll pause here and then pull your chest forward, breathe in. Pyramid pose and breathe out. Okay, so two legs are straight, back heel lifted. Feel like your right hip is pulling towards your left big toe. Find some lift and lengthen. Chest towards your thigh, forehead towards your shin. One more time, breathe in. Deepen the fold and breathe out. Good, look up and lengthen, inhale. Low lunge, exhale. Three-legged downward facing dog or downward dog split, left heel high, bend and open, shake it out. So again, the physical intention here is not to get into the shoulders, so the shoulders stay square at the top of the mat, but to get into the hip, knee, ankle, and hip flexor. Power through the back leg. Okay, breathe in. And breathe out, okay? Uh, one more time, breathe in. And exhale, left knee to uh, right elbow. Touch just above the elbow. Square your shoulders to the top of the mat. Dome and hollow out through your back. Hold and breathe, hold and breathe. And then fall in triangle. Spin your back foot flat. Extend the left leg out so this back foot drops. Left foot heel, or right heel down. Fall in triangle, so we'll go fall in triangle first. So right arm goes up. Yeah, perfect. So think side plank. Um, except you have your left leg extended out across the mat. Okay, so you're pushing through the pinky edge of your back foot. So the inner arch of your back foot lifts. Super strong through the back leg. And then push through the pinky edge of your front foot. So you're in fall and try and go hold and breathe. Now keep your legs the same. Breathe in. High plank pose and breathe out. Right palm down. Lift your back heel up. So you're in plank pose with the left leg extended across your mat. Okay, three chaturanga push-up. Shift forward, breathe in. Lower halfway down. Press up and then lower slowly. Press up and lower slowly. I, I like one more. Lower down and lift up. Good. And inhale, left heel high. Three-legged dog. You like that one, Jen? That's Jen's new favorite. Okay. Now high plank pose, but hold with your left toes lifted. So it's ekapada, the heel, hip, shoulder in one line. Lift the back of your head a little bit first. Now shift forward, breathe in. One-legged chaturanga, lower halfway down. Press your left toes down, upward facing dog. Pause for a moment, take that in. Breathe in. Low plank pose, exhale. High plank pose, inhale. And downward facing dog. So you know you can always take out that double chaturanga, it's no big deal. Okay, so slow down your breath. Again, remind yourself of, you know, just being here, appreciating the opportunity just to move and, and breathe. And again, lean into the energy of this um, uh, group. Okay, let's move that series two more times. Okay, bend your knees, breathe in. Gaze forward, step, hop, or jump, top of your mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Go deep on the forward fold, exhale. All the way up, inhale, rise up. Exhale, back bend. Arms up, tighten your legs. Forward fold and exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Step your le um, left foot back, low lunge, exhale. Lift and lengthen, inhale. Pyramid pose, exhale. Look forward, inhale. Low lunge, exhale. Right leg high, inhale. Knee to opposite elbow, fall in triangle, just hold and breathe. Right heel high, inhale, three-legged dog, we'll take that push-up out. Echo pot of chaturanga, chin stand, whatever works, lower slowly. Upward facing on the inhale, low plank pose, exhale, high plank pose, inhale, downward facing dog. Slow it down, breathe in, and breathe out. Awesome, last time, bend your knees, breathe in. Exhale, gaze forward, step, hop, or jump. Halfway lift, inhale, forward fold, and exhale. All the way up, inhale, rise, back bend, exhale, arms up, inhale, forward fold and exhale, halfway lift, inhale, step your right foot back, exhale, lift and lengthen, inhale, chest forward, straighten your legs, exhale, look forward, inhale, low lunge, exhale, three-legged dog, left heel up and back, Exhale, knee to opposite elbow, fall in triangle, or hover, uh, floating fall in triangle. Left heel high, inhale. One-legged chaturanga, shift forward and lower slowly. Upward facing, inhale. Low plank pose, exhale. High plank pose, inhale. And downward facing dog. Slow it down, breathe in. 
and breathe out. Good, we move on from here. Bend your knees, inhale. Gaze forward, step, hop, or jump, top of your mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold and exhale. Good, bend your knees, inhale as chair pose, Utkatasana. Okay, highlight the weight into your heels. Let your toes spread nice and wide and shift your kneecaps back in space. Pull your rib cage in so that your uh, lower spine lengthens. Okay, breathe in. Exhale, airplane pose, or airplane arms. Float your arms back in space. Okay, let the shoulder blades pull in towards one another. Stay soft through your neck. Little add on here, one-legged mountain pose, right knee towards your chest and arms up. Okay, flex your right toes. Lift your right knee from your powerful lower belly. Stay strong through the grounded leg. Hey, here it is, um, a little add-on. Breathe in. Exhale, interlace your palms with the small of your back. Now at the same time, find some lift and lengthen. Inhale, go figure four, right ankle over left knee. Uh, bend your left knee and go forward fold. Arms come up and overhead. So essentially, it's figure four stretch. You're balancing, balancing figure four with chest expansion. Okay, so a lot happening here, intentionally designed to keep your focus here within the asana practice. So the mind isn't, you know, looking around the rest of the room. Um, your focus, what's happening here. Okay, breathe in. Flex your right toes and sink your hips back and breathe out. Okay, keep your palms interlaced. Keep your palms interlaced. One leg in mountain pose. Bring your right knee towards your chest. Palms are interlaced, breathe in. Exhale, toppling tree. Float your right leg back. Then come into capital T shape with your body. And now let uh, your heel get higher, your right heel get higher, chest lower, and arms come up and overhead. Find one non-moving point, focus there, breathe in. Standing splits and breathe out. Palms down, chest towards your thigh, forehead towards your shin. Breathe in, forward fold and breathe out. Super good, bend your knees, inhale as chair pose. Good, right into the other side, so pause a set up chair pose. So get it to the depth that keeps you interested, right? So some of you may need to come out of the posture so you can capture the breath. Others of you need to sink the hips lower, find the uh, fine tune the breath so your, your uh, thoughts can slow down. Okay, here we go, breathe in. Exhale, airplane your arms, float your arms back. Keep the weight in your heels, drive your shins back a little bit. Keep letting the toes go nice and wide. Okay, breathe in, and breathe out. Awesome breath work. One leg in mountain pose. Bring your left knee towards your chest, arms up. Okay, so right leg is straight and strong. Little bend is okay, no problem. Focus more on spreading your toes. Right toes nice and wide, pushing through the ball and the heel of the foot. Flex your left toes. Got now breathe in. Exhale, interlace your palms small of your back. Okay, draw the knuckles down the chest up, inhale. Figure four, exhale, Ch uh, chest expansion. Bend your right knee, arms come up and overhead. So again, you are in balancing figure four with chest expansion. So if you had to pause and look at the posture, no problem, come back into it. So you're in figure four, you're balancing with chest expansion. Find one not moving point, focus then. Breathe in, flex your toes and sink your hips back and chest low and breathe out. Okay, keep your palms interlaced. One leg in mountain pose. Bring your left knee towards your chest. Knuckles down, chest up, breathe in. Toppling tree and breathe out. Float your left leg back. So you move through airplane pose and then get your chest lower and your heel higher. Push through the ball of the ground and foot. Heel gets higher, chest gets lower. Right when you start to round and create that broken umbrella shape, you just pause. Breathe in. Standing splits and breathe out. So palms frame your right foot, chest towards your thigh, forehead towards your shin. Okay, one breath in. Forward fold and breathe out. Left foot meets your right foot. Halfway lift, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Step or jump back and lower slowly. Okay, upward facing, check in, inhale. Low plank pose, exhale. High plank pose, inhale and downward facing dog, exhale, find the breath. Okay, we move on from here, right leg high, inhale. Knee towards your chest, exhale, pause. Okay, so this is a preparatory posture for
or handstand kickups. Okay, so look at your thumbs, bend your left knee, and then hop to the top of your mat. Your right leg stays right where it is. Now hop back, so you're back into the big tiger pose, a downward facing dog with the right knee towards the chest. Okay, now bend your left knee, hop to the top of the mat. It's a single leg hop, and then hop back. Okay, hop forward, and hop back. So what we're doing here is preparing the grounded leg in our handstand kickups. Okay, so bend, hop, and back, and one more time. Hop to the top of the mat, hop to the back of the mat, three-legged downward facing dog. Right heel goes up, and then step through low lunge. A nice wide stance, get your right knee over your right ankle. Okay, palms, um, frame your right foot, and you can tent the fingertips or use blocks or books or anything that you can. Okay, so we'll pause here, then pull your chest forward and your shoulders back so you open your upper back. Breathe in. Exhale is pigeon lunge. Bring your palms wider than the mat. Roll onto the pinky edge of your right foot like you're going to come into runner's lunge or half pigeon. And then bend your elbows and get your chest towards the mat. So you're almost like wide-armed push-up. Roll to the pinky edge of the right foot. If you want your left knee down, the chest lower, you can go there or keep your left knee lifted, okay? And so the idea is that you're getting into the groin, the inner thigh, and the hip, and also the left hip flexor, chest comes lower, okay? Breathe in, and breathe out. Keep your feet the same distance they are right now, but straighten out your two legs. So find some lift and lengthen, breathe in, two legs are straight, right into a forward fold and breathe out. Okay, look up, inhale, Low lunge, exhale. Place your right palm to the pinky edge of your right foot. Spin your back foot flat. Inhale, left arm high. So it's extended side angle, but just a way to get into it from a really deep lunge. Okay, push heavily through the pinky edge of your back foot. Use your right elbow to nudge your right knee towards your pinky toe, and then reach your left arm up. Okay, breathe in, reach up. Move only your left arm forward, exhale. So now you're in a diagonal line. Align your heel, hip, shoulder, and fingertips. Just another variation of extended side angle with the intent of getting long through the side body, strengthening as well. Right rib cage forward, left rib cage back. Okay, breathe in. Stay with it and breathe out. Now push heavily at the back foot and then rise up, warrior two, and pause. And when we flow the sequence, try not to come in and out of the bend in the right knee. Okay, for here, no problem. Set up, come in and out of the bend, no problem. And then aim to have heel to arch alignment. Hips are level, but not necessarily square. But feel the right knee pull towards the wall behind you. Okay, breathe in. Exhale, chaturanga. Windmill your arms down, step your right toes back and lower slowly. We will add on in the flow. Okay, upward facing, inhale. Low plank pose, exhale. High plank pose, inhale. And downward facing dog. Find the breath. Okay, so we're gonna move again to that um, single leg hop. Okay, left heel high, inhale. Knee towards your chest, exhale. Keep your left knee at your chest. Bend your right knee, look forward, and now hop, push off your right leg. Hop to the top of the mat, hop to the back of the mat. Hop to the top of the mat, hop to the back of the mat. Okay, so again, in your handstand, in your handstand kickups, you're using the grounded leg to do the work as opposed to the lifted leg, the lever leg. So you're hopping to the top of the mat, hopping to the back of the mat. Okay, eventually, if this is like super easy, you can go into full handstand or handstand kickups, but keep pushing through the insides of the palms, okay, rather than pushing the weight to the pinky edges of your hands. We're here for, looks awesome, Jen, for three, for two, good, jump, one more, good, and then three-legged downward facing dog, lift your left heel up, okay, breathe in, knee towards your chest, step through is low lunge, okay, widen your stance, so each foot is on its own lane, hands frame your left foot, okay, pull your chest forward and roll your shoulders back, breathe in, pigeon lunge, breathe up, bring your palms wider than the mat, Roll to the pinky edge of your left foot like you're coming into runner's lunge. And then bend your elbows like a wide arm push-up. Stay soft through your neck. Keep your ears and shoulders in one line. 
And then you can drop your right knee down if that gives you deeper sensation. Okay, so again, visualize runner's lunge or um, half pigeon pose here. Be sure that the groin, the inner thigh, and hip are opening, the right hip flexor. Okay, breathe in. And breathe out. Super good. Keep your feet the same distance they are right now, but straighten your two legs. So find some lift and length and inhale. Forward fold and exhale. So think it's a variation of the classic pyramid pose because your back heel is lifted. But still, your right inner thigh drawing up, outer right thigh pulling forward, chest towards your thigh. Breathe in. And a forward fold and breathe out. Now look up and lengthen, inhale, low lunge, exhale. That deep extended side angle. Bring your left palm to the pinky edge of your foot. Float your right heel back so you have heel to arch alignment. And inhale, right arm high. Okay, so get your left knee and left hip in one line. Like Jen's movie, you can play around with bringing your left arm to the inside or to the outside of the left leg. Doesn't matter so much to me. Um, but do push your knee into your arm and your arm back into the knee to keep the hip opening up, okay? Now the resistance is gonna be dropping your hips for sure. You're gonna wanna lift your hips up. So see if everyone here now can drop your hips a little lower. Keep your legs exactly as they are. No need to move the legs. Just reach up, breathe in. Reach your right arm forward and breathe up. So your right bicep touches your right ear. Try to keep your chin away from your chest and your arm, um, right arm forward, left rib cage forward, right rib cage back. Okay, stay and breathe. So again, more than likely this posture is gonna trigger you a little bit, but what we're doing is practicing staying in it. Okay, so you're keeping the breath nice and calm, staying in the moment, focusing on the things that we're building, okay? We're bringing strength and determination. Breathe in and breathe out. Now push heavily through the back foot with a bunch of control, rise up, warrior two, and then pause. Okay, take the breath in, and breath out. Okay, lift the inner arches of your feet. Let your left, rib, or left inner thigh pull up, outer right thigh pull down. Shoulders stay soft with the triceps, the arms nice and strong. Okay, breathe in, and chaturanga, breathe out. Again, there will be add-ons here. And then slowly lower, one legged chaturanga, chaturanga, or even downward facing dog. No big deal. Upward facing on the inhale, low plank pose, exhale, high plank pose, inhale, downward facing dog. So just like Jen did, whenever you need, you can take that double chaturanga out. Okay, so slow down your breath, find the rhythm, let's put that together. Here we go. Right heel high, inhale, just knee towards your chest, exhale, tiger pose. Right heel high, inhale. Step all the way through, low lunge, exhale. Chest forward, shoulders back, inhale. Pigeon lunge, exhale. Straighten your legs, inhale. Deepen your fold, exhale. Look up, inhale. Low lunge, exhale. Back foot flat, right palm down. Inhale, left arm high. Reach your left arm forward, exhale. Warrior two, inhale. Sink deeper on the exhale. Here's an add-on, reverse warrior, side stretch, inhale, and then chaturanga, exhale. Okay, so add on little postures here and there just to keep you focused, okay? Upward facing listening, downward facing dog, or that double chaturanga. Slow down your breath, okay? Left heel high, inhale. Knee towards your chest, tiger pose, exhale. Left heel high, inhale. Knee towards your chest all the way through straight to low lunge. Pull your chest forward, shoulders back, inhale. Pigeon lunge, exhale. Straighten your two legs, lengthen, inhale. Forward fold and exhale. Look up, inhale. Low lunge, exhale. Left palm, left outer foot, right back foot flat, right arm high, inhale. Reach forward, exhale. Push through the back foot, warrior two, inhale. Pause and sink deeper, exhale. Add on, inhale, reverse warrior, and exhale, chaturanga. Windmill your arms down, step your left toes back and lower slowly. Upward facing, inhale, thighs and knees stay lifted. Downward facing dog or double chaturanga. Find the breath, okay? Slow it down, we'll do that two more times, or each leg one more time, and then there will be another add on, so stay tuned. Right heel high, inhale. Knee towards your chest and round, exhale. Right heel high, inhale. 
Knee towards your chest, step all the way through, low lunge, exhale. Chest forward, inhale. Pigeon lunge, exhale. Come to the pinky edge of your front foot. Straighten your two legs, lift and lengthen, inhale. Deepen your fold, exhale. Look up, inhale. Low lunge, exhale. Back foot flat, right palm down, left arm high, inhale. Reach forward, extended side angle, exhale. Warrior two, inhale. Pause and exhale. Here's the add-on, reverse warrior, inhale. Low lunge, exhale, another add-on. Standing splits, inhale. Shiva squat, exhale, left knee, right calf. Okay, here we go. Just like you did on the um, single leg um, hop, push off the grounded foot, little hop up. Okay, push off your grounded leg, your right leg, little hop up. Okay, so it's handstand kickups. If you're not into the handstand kickups, you can go Shiva squat. So two legs are straight, knees are bent. Two legs are straight, knees are bent. We're here four. We're here three. Awesome, hold handstand if you got it. Two and one. So left leg is lifted, step your left foot back, low lunge. Right heel high, inhale. Chaturanga, downward facing dog, chin stand, whatever works. Upward on the inhale. So good, low plank pose, exhale. High plank pose, inhale. Downward facing dog, slow it down. Try not to anticipate, right? Like I know that's what we're doing outside the yoga room. How long are we gonna be quarantined? How long are we gonna be here, right? Like how much longer do we have of this? Let it go, appreciate the moment. Last time, this side. Left heel high, inhale. Knee towards your chest, exhale and round. Left heel high, inhale. Knee towards your chest, step through, low lunge, exhale. Pull your chest forward and your shoulders back, inhale. Pigeon lunge, exhale. Palms come wide. Roll to the pinky edge of your left foot. Straighten your legs, inhale. Deepen your fold, exhale. Look up, inhale. Low lunge, exhale. Left palm, left outer foot, back foot flat, right arm high, inhale. Reach your right arm forward, exhale. Push through the back foot, warrior two, inhale. Pause, exhale. Reverse warrior, side stretch, inhale. Low lunge, exhale. Here's another add-on. Standing splits. Right heel goes up, palms are down. Breathe in. Shiva squat. Right knee, left calf, and breathe out. Stay here, straightening your legs and bending your knees or handstand kick up. So just like we did earlier, we're pushing off your left leg. Lift from the inner left thigh. It's just a little hop. Now you're gonna feel one leg is much more accessible than the other. But you gotta try them both on, right? Balance it out. Okay, so either straighten your legs and then bend your knees, or like Jen's doing that little hop. So visualize your left inner thigh getting higher. We're here four. Stay with it, you guys. Here three. Looks so good. Two and one. Pause. Right leg is high. Step back, low lunge. So the right foot steps back. Three legged dog. Left heel goes up and back. Exhale, chaturanga, shift forward, lower slowly. Upward facing, inhale, low plank pose, exhale, high plank pose, inhale, downward facing. Take the breath in, part your lips. One more time, breathe in, breathe out. Okay, camel pose and then we rest. So come down onto your knees, standing on your knees, bring your hands to your lower back. Okay. Squeeze your inner thighs towards one another like you're squeezing a block. Hands can stay at your lower back. Draw your elbows in. Feel your sternum lift. Breathe in. Drop your head back and go for it. Breathe out. Perfectly fine to keep your hands at your lower back. Or as Jen's doing, you can reach back and grab your heels. Okay? But the idea here is that you're sending all this amazing energy that you built up in the flow right into the front line of the body, right into the energy centers. So I know resistance um, will come up and maybe um, you know, resistance to vulnerability or physical limitation, but we just stay in it to notice where, what it is that's you know, pulling us back and then adjust as we need. So no problem if you need to pull out of it, but see if you can stay for one breath longer. Okay, breathe in. And breathe out and embryos pose. Draw your hips towards your heels. Relax your arms by your sides and rest your forehead on the mat and breathe. 
Okay, slow breath in. And controlled breath out. One more time here, breathe in. And slow breath out. Good, you guys look awesome. If you need water, you can grab it. And then let's get right into it, downward facing dog. Okay, slow breath in. And slow breath out. Okay, here we go, a little bit of balancing. Bend your knees, breathe in. Look forward, step, hop, or jump, top of your mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold and exhale. Bend your knees, inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Good, eagle pose, Garudasana. Start with your arms, you've been there already. Right arm underneath the left arm. Touch your palms together or grab opposite elbow. Shift the weight to your left foot. Lift your right leg up and over. You can braid your right leg all the way around your left or use your right toes as a little kickstand, okay? Once you've got it, bend your right, uh, excuse me, your left knee a ton. Shift your hips back. Keep your rib cage pulling in. For this variation, um, align your elbows and your shoulders and then squeeze everything in. So increasing flexibility, you can round through your back like Jen's doing whatever feels intuitive. We're increasing flexibility in the upper and lower extremities, creating de determination, focus, and balance. Okay, so there will be an add-on here. Breathe in. And breathe out. One-legged mountain pose. Bring your right knee towards your chest, your arms up. Breathe in. Hands to your hips and breathe out. Big toe pose. Bring your right hand to your right knee or find your peace sign fingers and grab your right big toe. Channel that like single leg happy baby pose. So stay here with your right knee bent or straighten out your right leg. Tug your right shoulder back, start to open up. Okay, so the tendency will be to roll to the pinky edge of your left foot. So push through the ball of the left foot, um, through the, the um, big toe. Push your outer left hip to center, till the tips of your ears lift up. Okay, slow and steady breathing, breathe in. And breathe out, looks awesome. Bring your right leg to, uh, to center, keep your right leg straight, arms up if you can. Hold and breathe, you got it done. Okay, keep your hips pulling back, the rib cage in. Right heel a little higher, breathe in. And forward fold and breathe out. Right foot meets your left foot, bow down. Bend both of your knees, inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. So resetting, shift your knees back, Keep the rib cage in. Breathe in. Eagle arms on your left. So float your left arm underneath your right. Touch your palms together. If this is not happening, you can touch the backs of your palms or grab opposite shoulder. Transition the weight to your right leg. Lift your left leg high up and over. Now for most of us, I know like Jen does and I do as well, your left hip's gonna come way, way forward. So scoot the left hip back, the right hip forward. So two hips are facing forward so that your elbows, navel, and knees align. And bend your right knee a little bit more and get the weight into your right hand. Stay and breathe. That's awesome. One more breath in. One more breath out. Unwind your arms, one-legged mountain pose. Left knee towards your chest, arms up, breathe in. Hands to your hips and breathe out. Big toe pose. With your left hand, grab your left knee. You can open up or reach down with the peace sign fingers, grab the left big toe. Level your shoulders, so tug your left shoulder back, straighten through the ground, the leg little bend is okay, it's no big deal, and then start to open up. What have we got, three minutes? Three until 40. Okay, all right, push, push, push through the ground and leg, lift up, feel the tips of your ears lift up, stay with it, breathe in, stay with it and breathe out. And then come to center, arms up, keep your lifted leg nice and straight and strong, arms up, a little bit of determination, a whole bunch of hip flexor strength, breathe in, and forward fold, and breathe out, two feet uh, touch, halfway lift, inhale, chaturanga, exhale, step or jump back, but jump back lower slowly, upward facing on the inhale, downward facing dog, exhale, breathe in. Have a seat and breathe out. So come down to your knees, have a seat, touch your feet together, let your knees come out wide. Okay, so we'll move through this a little quickly because I know that we just have 55 minutes on uh, Instagram Live. 
So we'll do two different variations. From here, Baddha Konasana, touch your feet together, knees come out. So hip opening posture, with your right hand, grab your right knee, with your left hand, grab your right foot. So just like you would have pigeon little rock side to side, get into the outer right hip. Okay, bring your chest up, roll your shoulders back, stay here, breathe. And then little hamstring stretch with your right hand, grab your right heel, bend and straighten. Again, just like you did earlier on your back when we added the core work. Jen, I'll help you to stay here. So in these two variations, bending and straightening the right leg in that hip opening or sundial pose. For your sundial pose, bring your right arm in front of your right leg. Hug the right leg to your right arm. Reach your left arm up and over and grab for the pinky edge of your right foot. Lean forward a bit and then straighten your right leg. Just like we were doing earlier, draw the left uh, bicep back towards the left ear. So you're long through the left side body. Level the shoulders. Move your gaze underneath your left armpit. Breathe in and breathe out. Super good. Gently release. Touch your feet together. So back to Baddha Konasana. We switch it up. Bring your left hand to left knee, left hand to foot, chest up, little rock side to side to so get into the left outer hip. Okay, and then with your left hand, grab your left heel, bend and straighten your left leg. So again, feel your chest, your sternum lift. Jen, you can stay here, just getting um, the hip and then hamstring inner thigh open, or sundial pose, compass pose. Bring your left arm in front of your left leg, Level your shoulders, reach your right arm up and back, grab for the pinky edge of your left foot. Hinge forward if you need, your left glute can come off the mat, and then straighten your left leg. Good, and then look underneath the right arm, try to drop the left glute down, extend through the heel. Breathe in, and breathe out. Super good, gently release, place your feet down, extend your arms out, and lower all the way down to your back. Okay, pull your knees up and in towards your chest. Little rock side to side. From here, just let your knees fall to the left and gaze to the right. So nice, simple twist. Try to slow down your breath. Okay, breathe in. Stay with it and breathe out. Use the strength of your obliques to lift your knees up and over to the other side and switch your gaze to the opposite side. So switch it out, Jen. Knees come up and over. Shift your gaze to the opposite side. So just closing with a nice, easy twist. Pull your knees a little closer towards your chest if you need. One breath in. And breath out. Come back through center. Pull your knees up and in. Just draw little circles going one direction and then the other direction. Then give yourself a nice big squeeze. Wrap your arms around your knees. Breathe in. Open your mouth. And exhale. Extend your legs out, extend your arms out. So you guys, if you can stay here for two to five, maybe 10 minutes if you have it, to fully surrender and release, and then keep coming back into the moment. Appreciate what you have, stay grounded by naming things that are around you, and then I hope to see you again soon. I'll update the YouTube channels quickly with this flow. Comment or DM me if you have any questions. From my heart to yours, namaste.